And a good raining morning to all you folks. This here is Saskmo, welcoming you to another chapter of A Scavenger's Tale. Let's play Fallout 4. As you can see, it's kind of raining inside my house, too. I turned off uh, particle occlusion as an attempt to uh, help deal with graphical issues and encoding issues. And the rain stopped. Good. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and get right back into it today. So, I was thinking today we'd head up into Diamond City there and see what kind of quests they got for us. Avoiding obnoxious people like Piper and not looking into Nick Valentine at this point or anything like that. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. Huh. Sir? I think yeah. you need to uh, reconsider your life if that's how you walk around. I swear, nothing but a scarf on. <laughs> oh boy. A lot of different raider groups nearby. They ain't a match for us, but you should be careful. Thanks for the tip. Make a move and I'll end you. Wasteland. Oh. Crazy people. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you need a great green jewel. Blah, 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 green jewel. Diamond City people are jerks. Okay, up into Diamond City we go. And here we are. Diamond City. Home to a whole bunch of jerks. And people I just generally do not like. I mean, there's some good folks like the priest here. And Takahashi. But there's also a lot of obnoxious people like her. Read all about it. Institute Shut up. Are you next? Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Yeah, thanks. That's way out of our league right now. Now, there is one guy we can talk to. Oh. You. Just standing up here, making a scene. Every 
Everybody! Everybody! I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us hmm. prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Yeah, yeah, he is full of shit. Ugh. It would be so easy to pop you in the head right now. I think that article is telling the truth, you know, about the mayor. Ah, the mayor's okay in my book. He's kept the ghouls out. Don't touch the paint. Yeah. Howdy there. You know, that means he's working for us. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Hmm. What do you need done, bud? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? You're gonna send me somewhere, so you better tell me all about it. Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Sure. Much obliged. And we have our first quest. Hmm. Security says they can't handle it. I'm saying... McDonough is saying they won't handle it. Well, it'll be our first big adventure. And hopefully we don't die horribly in the process. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna die horribly in the process. say outside is smell. Thought you don't smell at all. Um, thanks. Did the Creepy kid. Spy on your home? Read the public. Find out. Shut up. I have somewhere to be. Sorry. I'm not talking to you. Go to hell. I really don't like McDonough. He's a massive, massive jackass. And if it wouldn't turn all of Diamond City against me, I'd have put a bullet in his head the first time I met him.
nice when it's peaceful, honestly. Yeah, I've noticed I have. Can't believe I'm posted outside the wall. Who the heck did I piss off? I think the reason I have those encoding overloads is every time it loads a new cell. Especially in these busy places. Okay, I'm here to help. Lead the way. Into the raider infested hardware town. Something doesn't add up. I don't trust anybody in this world. She's right back here. Hurry. Do I have any mines or anything like that? No. Hey! I told you to bring them in through the basement. Shut up. They're headed this way now. Be ready. aren't smart. What well, is taking so long? I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. You don't think I will? I'm tired of sitting on my ass anyway. What's the point of hiding back here? Why the hell don't we just shoot them in the head the second they step through the door? Come on, you Molotov flinging prick. Come on, little girl. Let's do this. all your stuff.
Okay, so... It should be everybody in here. Oh, look at what these jackasses did to everybody. Damn raiders. Okay, he wants paint. And I assume he wants green. So, take some blue and some yellow. Make some green paint. We are going to loot everything in here if we can. all sorts of goodies scattered around in here and all like the washing machines and stuff like that if you can reach them bobby pins are good never say no to a bobby pin a place you'd expect like a little loot chest or something. That would be all the stuff they took from all those poor saps. try to gather everything I can because upgrading equipment and repairing power armor and all that isn't cheap. There is one other rule I have when I play this game. I don't touch the uh, the bobbleheads. unless I have the stat maxed out. That way I can get beyond the normal maximum 10. I can't unlock that, but I will take that and that. Another thing I tend to do is, uh, I will stockpile pre-war money as well as cigarettes things I can use for trading later on
in the one playthrough I did, I collected every plunger I could, and I used them for the junk jet. Killing raiders with a plunger is hilarious. Okay, we only got about 50 more carry weight. Which means stuff like this is... not on the menu. Let's see. Take the five pound, ten pound, and, and we're done. Yeah, now we're done. Okay, that was our first dungeon. Well, if you could call that a dungeon. Exploration. And of course, there's a rad storm out here. over there too much because there's a bunch of raiders that live up in all them places I think well, that's lead okay let's head back to Abbott move along Get our reward for getting his paint. Nothing like risking your neck for some paint. It seems like this rad storm isn't near as bad as that one from earlier. Which, extra, extra. Uh, neighbor, you really again? Shut up. She is so obnoxious. That bridge across the river, super mutants use it as an ambush point. Really? Because I never encountered a super mutant across there. Abbott. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy. Well, it wasn't too hard either. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Yeah, we'll use the green paint. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Oop, didn't want to skip anything like that. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. <laughs> and what would you do, old man? <laughs> I like Abbott. 
I wish there was more about them. The highest quality available. I'm gonna sell you all the extra junk I don't need. I actually don't want these, so you can have them. Alrighty, you take it easy, Percy. You yeah, cause trouble. There's gonna be trouble. Got it? Go away. I think there should be like a couple of more quests here in Diamond City. I'm not sure if I can actually do them, considering the time of day in game, which is. 5 a.m. One of them should be down here by the waterfront, though. Cheng, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Shang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Kid, I don't like you. I'm a busy man. Got things to do, people to see. Hey, I'd love to chat, but I don't have time. Oh, shut up, stupid kid. We're gonna wait until morning. We can't wait in this chair? That's weird. What about this one? Purified water. You won't find this out in the Commonwealth. That's right. Put on my own since I was eight. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. Now, how about I get you a bottle of water, huh? Anything I can ah, do to help? the industrious type. Want to help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of a book, usually. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Kid, I really don't like you. In we go. Toaster? Someone's skull. Typewriter. Metal bucket. And the water. thing. Get your fresh water here. And an antifreeze bottle. This is a short, simple, easy quest. Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Yeah, that's a good thing. 
Why was there a skull in there? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? <sighs> Good luck finding this anywhere else. That's disgusting. And we're done here. There are some other quests, but I don't want to actually get them started yet. You need a haircut. I can't believe you eat that. There's only one thing yeah. worth buying in a dozen of paper. Hiding among us. Real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Now, there is another quest I can grab here. Got everything you could need. Medics, Mentats, whatever. Solomon. Looking for a job. You got any? Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking rad X or rad away. Mutated fern, mutated fern huh? Okay. Cool. Here's this creepy lady. She looks like she sure visits you a lot, Solomon. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyle from across the Commonwealth. Tough. You been to good neighbor? Friggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Tough. Okay. We're gonna go drop our junk. No, it looks like we leveled up. We're gonna have to use that. Okay. I don't really care much about sneaking. Salvage on common components from weapons and armor. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and take another. Oh, I need another level before I can take another. In that case, a rank a hacker. Really? Rad storms again? Defend the diamond city. City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. Now that little pop-up was from a mod I've not uninstalled called uh, Sim Settlements. It lets you create settlements that do a lot more stuff themselves. I haven't delved into it a whole lot recently. I bet there's a lot of updates for it. Freaking rad 
black storms. Home sweet home. I also don't keep food in the uh, workbenches because when you do, it encourages raiders. The more food, water, and caps you have in a settlement's uh, workshop inventory, the higher the odds are it'll get attacked by raiders. Such a frickin' pain. Okay, we're gonna save here and Let's go on in and say hello to the folks, the neighbors down the street. What do you say? That was a good one. You have any more stories like that? How much time you got? <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Let me see. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young. What the? Have I? I'm waiting for you to come and prove it. Come on. No need to hide. We'll all be over soon. Yeah, I'm not stupid enough to run in anywhere. dangerous that trap actually would have been.
is bullshit. Come on. The jet will make you jittery. <gasps> Nothing. This really? At least it sure as hell looks that way. Did you hear that? Come on, I'm not exactly hiding. No. Gotcha. You're getting paranoid. Well there ain't nothing here. I hear you, I'm just waiting for you to prove it. Where'd that little bitch go? I'm right here. Open fire! We're clear now. I think. Yeah. Now I can head downstairs and start looting. Or work my way up. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage. Nice. Can't unlock that. Start on the roof here. See what's up here. Nothing all that important. Some beer. Beer bottles, which are good for glass. Or in survival mode to get water. Why 
and then an extinguisher. And a couple bodies to loot. Okay, so things are going a lot smoother and better now. I'm strong enough I can start surviving and roaming. Hello there, sir. I'm gonna take your soap. And the baseball. More booze bottles. all your stuff. See, that might have been a little harder back when I was only level 2. I have a lot more armor to work with now. Shopping baskets are good for raw steel. Strangely, I think tin cans are some of the best per weight. Damn mannequins. Someone at Bethesda has an obsession with mannequins, I'll tell you that. Take that scavenger perk. Mm. No, I didn't. Dang. If I'd have been smart, I would have taken that, and then I could just start breaking down all this armor. Perception. I prefer regular glasses, but I don't think they have any in here. Yeah. I think that's it for Backstreet Apparel. This place will repopulate in a couple in game days, I think like a week or so. Now we can come back and loot it again. For now, it's been almost an hour of playtime, so we should probably head back to Hangman's Alley and drop off all our loot and call it a day. I'll keep recording until we get there and get it all settled because you never know what might happen on the way. Here's some 
Uh, seems like something's going on up there. We'll dump off all this. Let's go see what's going on. Why end it now whenever there's something exciting happening? Of course we're gonna quick save because I don't wanna die. What's up over here? guys are fighting something. Is the fight over already? Aww. Okay then. I guess we're done. Home sweet home. Well, that's another day. Another sex successful excursion into the uh, nearby raider infested areas. This has been Saskmo. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit, your no hit the notifications, and keep coming back offer some, suggest some suggestions on where we should go next, and maybe I'll actually learn how to talk. Thank you. Have a great day.